facial massage. So it's great for helping with anti-aging. So you are making it easier <laughs> to look younger, <laughs> side effect of that. I'm actually gonna use a gua sha, but you can use your fingers if you don't have one. So the pads of your fingers. But a gua sha is a massage tool made of jade. It has some, a lot of healing properties and gua sha actually means the impairment or stopping of stagnation. So we're actually increasing blood flow to this area. Really good if you have congestion in the sinuses or allergies, asthma, if you're just not feeling good, you feel puffy, not sleeping as well, getting bags underneath your eyes or crow eyes. So yes, people use Botox, but this is like a natural Botox. <laughs> And I'm Dr. Gold. I'm a functional holistic medical doctor and also a registered yoga teacher. And I've studied Thai massage and the art of gua sha. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually, this is a heart-shaped gua sha. I actually like that for self-love. And we're gonna use the inner part of the gua sha, this stone. So just gently starting in the midline and always pushing up. So if you think for the face, we wanna do a lift. So I'll get a little closer. We're just gonna gently start and lift. Nice part is you can get right here where the sinuses are, the maxillary sinuses, and you just gently go around and up, creating like a U shape. This is also really good for bags underneath the eyes. If you have that bluish hue for allergies, if it gets a little puffy, just gently pressing from midline all the way up. Oh, and do it luxuriously, taking some nice, slow, deep breaths. You can also add a nice, little cream or gentle oil. Sometimes I'll use coconut oil with this. Just remember it can get slippery, so maybe a piece of tape in the center to hold on to so it doesn't slip out of your hands. It is a stone, so it can break. I'm doing this on carpet, so if it falls, which it has in the past, it hasn't broken, but if you do in the bathroom, it can shatter. I actually had a, a yoga student who told me hers broke. I was like, oh no, I gave her another one. But just gently, I'm stroking probably, you know, just maybe about for a few minutes on each side. If you want to count the strokes, maybe about 10, 15 on each side. And you can do this before bedtime while you're watching TV and then take it to work. If you're retired, you can just do it at your own time, your own pace, you can do it on the weekends, whatever works for you. Honestly, there's not one set thing, but it can be part of your self-love practice, something that you do even before bedtime, but just bringing in that self-love every day. It's a nice, wonderful way to do this. You can always switch hands too. My shoulder was getting a little achy. I did some heavy weights. I'm preparing for competition, so my body's like, oh, I'll rest it, and I have been, which is good. I've been icing too. So we're gonna start with the jaw now too. So if you have TMJ or just a tight jaw or neck tension, this is really good to rele release this area. There's um, some lymph nodes in this area too. So it just helps with flow. I know anytime I'm getting a sore throat, if I start doing this gentle jaw massage, I feel drainage in a good way getting released. Oh, it feels good. We're stimulating or boosting the immune system here as well as softening lines. <laughs> we are going to work our neck in just a moment too. So just gentle lifting up. So again, I'm on the muscle. If you're not sure, you can feel it first. It's called the sternocleidomastoid muscle, a long name or SCM for short. The sternum is right here. Clido is the clavicle and mastoid right underneath the jaw area. So this muscle, you can almost feel it. It's a little bulky here. So again, just gently lifting up. And again, I'm using this pad, the inner pad. Now, if you were gonna do this with your, your own fingers or knuckles, I just use the knuckles and I just push up or you can use the pads of your fingers and just gently massage. Again, we're going way back. If you think of where the carotids are, they're right underneath the jaw. This is if you're checking your pulse. This would be right here, kind of more midline and higher. And you feel the pulse. Where I am is way posterior. It's in the back. So we're not near it. And if you're ever 
really concerned, of course, you can go way back here. This is still good for shoulders if you have shoulder tension or neck tension. So we're gonna go to the other side now. Again, just lifting and getting that muscle or just reaching. This muscle, again, when it's pulled, can affect our posture. It can also um, cause headaches when it's really, really tight. Oh, it feels so good. And, and also when we're on a computer, that, can get, that muscle can get contracted. So what we're doing is lengthening it, releasing it. You can always take off jewelry if you have a lot of jewelry. I did take off my earrings, so that's good. And just a thin necklace is fine, it should be fine. So again, I'm going on the side of my neck because this is my areas. We all have our special areas, right? I can get really tight, so it feels so good to release. Oh, it feels good. Nice thing is wherever you need to use this on soft tissue, not bone, it can work really well. So um, we're gonna go back to the face for um, just one more moment and then I'll show you some hand stuff. So last part is the forehead. Let's do forehead now. I'm just gently moving across. So those lines can get really tight here, especially on that forehead. So we, when we're doing this, nice and relaxed, breathing, and then gently moving across. Oh, moving across. Good, that actually feels so good. <laughs> and feel free to play with it if there's, again, certain points that where you wanna use the tip of it, you can get in there a little bit more if that feels really good for you. I know right here in my jawline, oh, that feels good. And then kind of the, the lines around, the frown lines around the face, you can kind of just gently lift. It looks a little funny, but <laughs> I'm just kind of gently reaching up. My laugh lines, people said, don't laugh, Dr. Gold. I'm like, but I love it, I love it, I love it. But I notice as I've done this, it's subtle, but over time, it just softens that line so it's not as deep as it used to be. And then right over here too, sometimes we get a little frown line. You can just gently push up here. Good, so this is great. And it gives you a little glow because you're increasing blood flow. So your skin may look a little more fuller. The best thing to do, honestly, is a before and after so you can see the difference. And especially over time because Doing it once, you know, like anything, if you eat healthy one time, you're not gonna probably see as much a difference as if you do it for months at a time or weeks at a time. But I would definitely say, let's at least do it for three months. Let me know how you uh, fare. And even if it's three or four times a week, huge difference. But if you can do it daily, just for a few minutes each day, it can make a, a nice uh, change in that. The face, the lines can soften more and you can see more blood flow to the skin and of course putting nourishing foods hydrate really well that'll make a difference as well and good good mindset too because we know when we're stressed that can affect our our skin too because we can tighten and go like this <laughs> okay let's doctor goes oh and hands i said hands so let's just kind of open close those hands for a moment the biggest spot for me is my text thumb so i just gently press down and up I showed that in the other area earlier in the other video and then I go into, this is called the anatomical snuff box. It's a little V, V for Valentine's, or V for vowing to take care of you. <laughs> so I'm just using the edge here and just kind of getting in there just to release. Oh, it feels good. Again, whatever you do on one side, you do on the other. And then right in that corner. Dr. Gold with Dr. Gold's Optimal Living Institute. Remember, your health matters. You're a beautiful light in this world. Keep shining. Mwah. <laughs> Toodles.